Hey Steve here. Now sometimes Photoshop's clone stamp tool can be difficult to use and it's not always the perfect fit for every cloning situation. So in this video I'm going to show you an alternative method of cloning that doesn't use any of the various cloning tools like the patch tool and the various healing brushes. Uh, really this technique is as simple as it gets but it's often a much better solution than the tools specifically designed for cloning. But first, just a quick word, if you're new to my channel and you want to see more videos like this, then remember to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to see how I organize all the various editing techniques that I've learned over the years into a cohesive and structured editing workflow, then just click the link in the description below this video to download my free workflow guide. So this is the image that we're going to be uh, demonstrating on. And the, the outcome that I want for this particular clone job is to reduce the size of this gap in the clouds here in the sky. So, you know, while it might be tempting to use a clone stamp tool or any of the other various uh, various tools designed specifically for the job, uh, what I'm going to propose is something a lot simpler and, uh, you know, can be a lot easier to, uh, to get the exact result that you want. So what I'm going to actually do is just grab the lasso tool and I'm going to grab, I'm just going to draw a selection around the bottom edge here because what I want to do is just essentially move this edge down. So I'm just going to grab some of this around here and I'm going to sort of get more than I need and you'll see why in a second. And then we're going to come up here and then background and close that selection. And now what I'm going to do is uh, simply copy and paste. So Command or Control C and then Command or Control V on the keyboard. And we have pasted that section into a new layer. So now what we're going to do is just uh, grab the Move tool and drag it down. Maybe move it over there a little bit. So we're just going to drag it down and that's probably enough closure of the gap. Now as you can see it doesn't look very clean at the moment but what I can do now is add a layer mask to this. Grab my brush tool, B on the keyboard or just over here. Uh, I'll grab a black brush. Let's put it on 100% opacity and it's got a soft edge so it's zero hardness on the brush and I'm just gonna blend it in now, blend those edges in by brushing around the edges here into the layer mask, not into the layer, but into the mask. So the effect of doing this is essentially the same as using the eraser tool, but you get the benefit of being able to undo what you're doing a lot easier by doing it in a layer mask. Yeah, looking at this, one of the common problems that you get with any kind of cloning um, method is the issue of repeating patterns. So we have actually created a little bit of a repetition there in the sort of the ripples in the clouds. Um, but it might be a good opportunity to actually now use the healing brush tool. Uh, so let me add a new layer to do this. And I'm just going to tidy up some of these little dots, which are sort of smaller gap gaps in the cloud that are kind of giving the game away a bit. So for this, I like using the spot healing brush tool. Let me just click on that bit there, just get rid of that. And then this little patch, get rid of over here. Uh, let me see what happens if I just try to get rid of this one long streak. You know, it kind of works. Um, so yeah, from this point on, it just becomes a case of, um, you yeah, know, once you've done that first big copy and paste job, just blending it in with that layer mask and if you want then any further tweaks with the uh, the spot healing brush tool 